was looking to attend a gay event, I would normally attend it in another city, be that Leicester, Milton Keynes or London, as opposed to Northampton itself. I think there should be a campaign, yeah. I mean, I'd certainly be involved in it, you know. Gladly, you know, sort of be involved in it. Try and promote it. Gay Pride celebrated across the UK that brings the LGBT community together, serving as a bridge between the young and the old within the subculture. Yeah, they're, they're quite welcome. Um, I haven't really got that many gay friends myself, but I've met gay people on nights out and they all seem pretty comfortable. I've never seen any sort of like hate towards them or anything like that. Um, are you aware of any LGBT organisations? What's that? Yeah. Lesbian, gay, bi and transsexual? No. No, I'm not. No. I've never really looked into it. <laughs> I've not met anyone that's like homosexual or anything like that. I don't see gay people indifferent to me, so you know I don't go and have a carnival for me. So if if they feel they need that, then yeah. But you know, for me, it makes no difference. You've got to do something for everyone, don't you? Because we're all one community. For me, the fact that there isn't a Pride festival it doesn't overly bother me. I've never been to a Pride festival. Um, the society is planning to go up to a Birmingham Pride, but I've never been to one before and it isn't a big part of my everyday life. Um, it's taken a long time for my parents to be even vaguely supportive. Um, my mum's supportive, my dad isn't so much. One of the girls saw that I hadn't shaved my legs and took a picture of that, put it on Facebook saying, is it a girl or a boy? And so that kind of stuff. And then the uni aren't overly always willing to help out because it's just an issue people don't know how to deal with. So they just say, oh, it's, it's just fine, it's just normal things. Have they got told, oh, not all people can get along and then just got moved again. So that's, it's difficult. So there are always those obstacles, but you just have to be strong, get through them. And that's why I started the LGBT Society. Having spoken to the older generation, we caught up with the Out There Youth Group to see what their views were on the current state of the lack of gay pride in Northampton. We're quite a new group, um, we've only been going since end of October really, um, but it's been really encouraging, it hasn't been a group for a long time. Some of them were self-harming, shooting from school, feeling depressed, um, body image issues and things like that, which is quite worrying. And obviously again on a one-to-one -one basis we could deal with that, but I think the isolation was quite a lot, a, quite a strong factor in that, and setting up a group helps them to realise that they're not on their own and that they're is support. The good thing is it's not just about LGBT, it's like um, it's just about exception in general isn't it? So it's making, yeah, like loads of people and like say if there was a parade then like we would all be aware that there are people out there but when there's like a concentration of them like that like in the town or wherever you know there's like a massive feeling of exception and everything so it's like a really good thing of understanding yeah. Pride is, well, it hopes to become the central organisation for the LGBT community in Northampton, um, with the obvious aim to produce like a highly professional Pride festival in the town centre. Its main aim is obviously to celebrate diversity and to rid of uh, homophobia and try and decrease hate crime. The event that happened in 2004 wasn't, it wasn't loud enough. Nobody heard about it. It was kind of. It was just a beer tent in Abington Park um, and a few couple of a couple of events. Mostly, it's been pretty positive. Like we met with um, David McIntosh, the leader of the Northampton Borough Council, um, before Christmas, and he's very supportive. Um, I've had, you know, friends, family, and I don't know, various supporters being like, "Yeah, let's do it," but there's still more to do. Like we've met with the we've met with the councillor. We've the, the lead, we've met with the leader of the borough council and we've got our business plan together where we're putting together a team at the minute of, of like members so we can go forward with the idea. With events like the Christmas Carnival run by FAM, this presents a promising future for gay pride events within Northampton. Whether they are successful or not, only time will tell.